Welcome to this new school year. I am Valeria Silva, Superintendent of St. Paul Public Schools. Very proud to have you being part of our schools. We, all the educators, everybody that works in the schools every day, we want the best for you. We want the best education you can have. But this job, we can't do it alone. You also have a responsibility for learning. This is what the president told all of us when we were meeting with him in July. Nothing will fall in your lap. You have to work hard for it. There's nothing worthwhile where it just falls in your lap. It's interesting. You talk to young people about basketball and they kind of understand that. They get that when it comes to sports. But for some reason, you think the same doesn't apply to school. There is no reason why you should think that you will be a good reader if you don't read a lot and read books that are hard as opposed to just books that are easy. There's no reason to think that you will be good at mathematics if you are not doing math problems and pushing yourself and trying math problems that are hard, not just ones that are easy. Number two is figure out what it is that you care about passionately, something that you think is important to you. But here's the third thing that's pretty important. Understand that you will not achieve by yourself, which means that you've got to be able to invest in relationships with other people who you can learn from, who will support you, who you will support in turn. So you've got to show enthusiasm. You've got to want to be involved. You've got to be curious. You're going to have to ask questions. I don't care how bad your school is, there's a teacher in there somewhere who if you went up to her or him and said, I really want to learn, can you help me? That teacher would snatch you up in a second because they want to feel like they're doing a good job. But if you're, but if you're just sitting in the back of the class slouching and complaining about how bad the school is, well, then you may be right to be angry that you don't have enough school supplies or the building's bad or what have you, but it's not going to help you. You're not going to learn. And, and if you learn that, those three things, work, have a passion about something, and learn how to give and take with people so that you're part of a broader team, that's a good place to start. I want to tell you as an educator, I want to tell you as a superintendent, and also as a mother, your parents, your teachers, everybody that works in schools are here to help you to be successful. Have a great school year. And remember, we're here to teach you. And my question to you is, are you here ready to learn?